Uh, Graham Ennisley says Taylor May should have been charged over the tackle that left Broncos star Reese Walsh with a fractured face. Ennisley also weighed in on claims Mitch Kenny was illegal, uh, uh, illegally blocking defenders from getting at Nathan Cleary. Take a look. He passes and he starts running and he's looking only at Nathan Cleary, who he's just passed it to, because he can't go downtown, so he can't advance past the ruck before the kick, ball's been kicked. If the dummy half passes the ball, then looks over his shoulder and changes his line to step in front of a chaser, different story. And this went out in April last year after the opening five rounds of the competition. All players have an obligation to avoid unnecessary forceful contact to the head or neck of an opponent. And on that basis, we believe it should have resulted in a charge. Yeah, the Taylor May shot on Reese Walsh split the rugby league world. Some saying it was an accident. Some saying that it should be, uh, should have been uh, cited or suspended. Uh, how did we see this? Look, there, there is a duty of care. I, I can see it both ways. I think it often depends on which team you support in this case. But I don't. I, for the life of me, I don't think a player deliberately smashes face on face. Okay, so I, don't, I, I think from that point of view, you can argue it was an accident. That said, there is a duty of care that's on the, the onus is on the defender, not the ball ball runner. So, and that you can argue the yeah. speed at which he came in, the speed at which Rose Walsh was obviously operating at. You need to take that into consideration. So, therefore, you can make the argument that way. Yeah. You, can, you can argue it both ways, you whichever can. way you want to go. Gordy, how'd you see it? He leaves the ground like. On the night, it's an accidental head clash. And then the defender's got a right to race up and shut him down. With Reese Walsh's speed and he changes lanes or whatever, the reaction time's poor. So did he put himself in a dangerous position? You'd have to say yes. It, I just change the names. If that Jared Rhea Hargreaves on Nathan Cleary, what do we think of the tackle? Yeah, well, he gets charged. And that's the issue. So you've seen that angle right there. His feet come off the ground, yes. which is in... So we'd say it's in the breakdown of the tackle shows that he's lost some control because yes. without his feet there to plant it, you can't. And I've said here before, I think as a ball runner, you should be protected. I think the thing that should be protected is your head. Mm. You know, there's so much of your body that you can, you know, they can come and they can hit you with. And we saw Regan Campbell Gillard do it yesterday. He raced off the line. He got Jackson Borlo in a same t similar tackle, but he doesn't hit his head. So I think there, you know, should should Reese Walsh. Be hitting the head there. And we saw Dale Fadukin some years back when Do he split went. Split his ear against Penrith. Against Penrith. Well, well, he got we suspended got for four weeks. Yeah, here it is here. Yeah. yeah that was and on he, Stephen Crichton. Yeah, and, and similar thing. It was beauty of care, the, the speed at which he came out of the line. Now, in many times, that would have been a you know, classic rugby league big shot. But again, duty of care, off we go. This time, it was interesting that Penrith actually argued the other way back when this tackle got happened. Mm. As initially, just did on Gordon, the weekend. Uh, initially. Yeah. We uh, thought it was I fair. was of the view that it was accidental contact, but I think given the crackdown on HIAs and the duty of care around the head that has become one of the biggest buzz issues around the game, you can understand yeah. why the NRL has, has said today that the match review committee got... I, 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 I remember Wayne Bennett talking about the Dale Finucane tackle, and we were sitting there and I'm going, oh, he's just raced out to put a shot on, it's an accident. He goes, no. They know what they're doing. I've coached enough players. They go out to put a big shot on. When it comes off, they've got to be penalised for it. And then, and then this is the guy that's coached the most players. So you race out, and if it goes wrong, you've got to pay the consequences. At the end of the day, too, if it results in less of these tackles because players exactly. are more careful about it, it's, it's a good thing. It was a complete accident, but now the onus is on the defender. So well, the, play, the players the know now that you just can't... If you're going to rush out of the line, try and put a shot on, you've got to get your feet right, you've got to get your timing right, because if there is a head clash, it's on you. And, yeah. and most likely next time, they're going to suspend you. Now, Mitch Kenny, his tactics out of dummy half, he, he's blocking the kick uh, for the kick for clear, as you can see. He, he's passing the ball, and then he's taking off in a direction to, to take out the marker so they can't put pressure on Cleary. I think it's smart. I think he's just Very using clever. the rules to his advantage. I don't have a problem they've with crowded, it. They've, still uh, they've created a rod for their own back here, the NRL. Why? Why? Because uh, in rugby league, someone gets a cough, we've all got a cold, OK? They'll all be doing it this weekend. And what will end up happening out is, I know Annesley says they don't, doesn't change direction. Mitch Kenny and every other dummy half of the game is smart. He, watch, he does change the position here a little bit. Mm. You're watching him, he, he comes and he just circles, he's left a little bit. He, he, he knows the line that the markers are going to run to get to the halfback. It's not hard to figure out. This is where he starts. See, when you turn your back, you know where he's, the starting point is for the marker and you know where the halfback's going, you know the line that the, the marker's going to run. 
They're all going to be doing it this weekend. Now, if you're going to sit there and you're going to get rid of the, the front row of standing there as blockers, bring in a rule to do that, and then allow this to happen, well, you just it's just moronic. How do you police it? How do you adjudicate well, it? Well, when when else, he's allowed when else, to follow after he passes okay, the Okay, when else does Mitch Kenny follow after the pass? Yeah, after the pass. Yeah, what, what you don't run tackle? sideways. He only does it on tackle on five fifth. when he's passed to the kicker. He doesn't do it every tackle. So how do you police it? How do you, you stop it? You just penalise him for it. You, you just say the, the dummy half tackle five is not allowed yeah. to leave the ruck. But he's not allowed to leave the ruck and run out in that line. But they've given it the all clear today. Well, that's what I said. They've created a rule for their right. own back because this weekend you'll get 16 teams all doing it. It's yeah. an example of smart coaching because yeah, they yeah. brought in the it new is. rule. But Ivan it's also an example. Have clearly looked at it and gone, OK, well, hang it on. It is. Very Let's good coaching. this, Mitch, when you pass on the fifth tackle, just follow the trajectory yeah, of the ball. Yeah, and, and this weekend, 15 other coaches will all say, <laughs> let's do it as well. And then what will happen is in a week or two or three or four, what, what's the difference between that and escorting off a kick? When you see the big one and, and the centres go down to protect their fullback, that I know they argue they change their line, but you're going to see guys slightly change their line here. It'll turn in to an absolute dog's breakfast. This. Watch this space. <laughs> Candy reckons it's all over. It's going to be drama in the next month uh, with this one and what'd you say? Sixteen other teams. Keep an eye on their hookers you this watch weekend. Them. You watch them.